Hey guys, welcome back to our repair guys. You're about guys to freak out. Uh, probably if you have that problem then we just uh, occurred our instrument cluster quit working on the BMW guys here on the 3 series. So let me show you now okay what happens. I'm going to insert the key here. You can see key is inserted. Okay, the navigation screen, everything will work. I can even start the car. Okay, but the cluster does not work. The instrument cluster is not working at all. Everything else is working perfectly fine. Radio is working. The only thing that doesn't work, anything on the cluster. You can see the tack doesn't work. Speedometer, fuel level, all that stuff. So, stay with us guys to show you how to fix that and don't freak out. It's fixable in most cases. So what I'm going to do, I'll turn the ignition off. I'll pull the key out. Now, we're going to show you which fuse is for the cluster, guys. It's very, very likely that the fuse is burned. And uh, if you replace it, it keeps burning again. And we'll share the secret with you how to prevent that. We have more than 200 videos taking this car apart, guys. So please subscribe. If you need anything, let us know. We'll try to make a video, guys. Uh, also, okay, so now what we need to do, we need to go ahead and open the glove box. So we can get to the fuse box location there. Okay, I got this light here. So I can show you a little bit better. Now, we need to, okay, remove that cover there by twisting two things 90 degrees and pull it out. And you can see this is, this is the fuse box right here. Now, on the very bottom row, on the very bottom towards the left right here, the first 5M fuse, which is actually the third fuse in the row. From left to right, on the very bottom, this is the third fuse. It's a 5M fuse and we're going to go ahead and pull that fuse out. Now, if you pull it out and you install a new one and that new one burns again, what you have to do, okay, you can see this one is burned, you will have to disconnect the battery. Do it at least 30 minutes before you replace the fuse. After that, replace the fuse and connect your battery once the fuse was replaced. And your fuse will stop burning. Okay, that's a common problem on those BMWs. So, we, as you can see, installed the fuse there. Now we're going to install, uh, install the cover here. And we have to finish a few more things after that. Okay, let's see if ours is going to burn now. We don't have the battery disconnected. We'll recommend to have it disconnected, as I said. So, hopefully, hopefully we have some communication. I'll put the key in. Okay, and we have some lights. I'm going to go ahead and start it now. Okay, all the tools, guys, parts, fuses we use will be listed in the description of the video below for your convenience. And now you can see, okay, sometimes you might have the engine light on. In our case, we don't this time, so that's a good thing, but you have to set the clock. Although you don't have the engine light on, you might still have a code for miscommunication with the cluster. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, see if we have a code in our case. So I will go, okay, to drive engine computer here. That's very powerful to you guys, it works on any car. Okay, read codes and let's see if we have any codes. Engine's running, it's recommended to do it when the engine is turned off. Okay, and you can see we even have a virus code that we didn't even know about. So, you can see one of them is the instrument cluster message, okay, right here. So, which means that we have the code, but it's just not shown. Okay, it actually did turn on now. Engine light is on. I told you sooner or later that thing is going to come, and it's annoying. So, I will actually go ahead now. Okay, turn the ignition on only, without starting the car. Okay, like that when you see your lights on. So I'll go ahead, okay, and just erase the codes here. We'll click erase. Confirm, okay. Now, I'll go ahead, turn the ignition off, and start the car. Or just go ahead and start the car, the engine light is out of there, so perfect. So that's how you guys do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't freak out. Most of the times it's fixable and see you guys next time.